What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ryan's Average Reactions, formerly known as Ryan's Average VODs, changed the name a couple months back because it's a little less confusing. Still have some questions of people saying, wasn't this Ryan's Average VODs? Ryan's Average Reactions just sounds better. No one knows what a VOD is unless you're like me on Twitch way too much. Um, Today, we're doing a bar rescue reaction. We haven't done one of these in over a year and I figured, hey, let's see if we can get some people excited about some bar rescue stuff because I have had some comments and DMs of people saying they wanted some. So let's give it a shot. Uh, today's episode is going to be bar rescues creepiest discoveries. There is a rat emoji and a spider emoji, which are two very scary things when it comes to restaurant business. Um, I have my I heart John Taffer sign behind me with a Pichu on top. Um, I have my new Kirby figurines right here. Very excited about the addition of those. And we're going to do the comment shout out of the week. As always, all you got to do is comment something on any video. I write some of your usernames down and I give you a shout out. Uh, if you don't mind liking the video, subscribing if you're new. And if you want to be in this wheel of Ryan, just comment anything. Anything. Today's commenter of the day is, I need to add a drum roll. Th okay, now it's stuck. I need to add a drum roll to my machine. It is, that's a long one. Wow, Alexis Gonzalez. And, it, and that's the end of it, apparently. EB4ZR, I can't even read my own handwriting. Let's just go with Alexis Gonzalez. <laughs> Okay, it's still blurry. It's taking up the whole screen. How could it possibly be blurry? What could it possibly be trying to focus on? Technology, man. Wow, boy, are, are we advancing. Well, there you go. Thank you, Alexis, for leaving a comment on the video. You were the comment of the day. And all you got to do to be like Alexis comment something you know it's that simple i don't know why i said it like obama okay my fellow americans today okay i'm not gonna do a whole obama uh let's just watch the episode bar rescues creepiest discoveries let's give it a go i saved you guys from doing a whole entire 30 second obama bit uh, let me be clear all right let's see how this goes i haven't watched one of these in a while Triple H about to come out. Rock and Roach. Wow. I not expect this music. The second I walk in, there's just this disgusting, heavy, wafting smell of either mold and must oh. or cat piss. Oh. Two of my favorite things in the world, mold, musk, and catfish. That would catfish. Cat see, I watched too much catfish. It's stuck in my brain. What is the smell? It smells like cat piss in here. It's oh. Literally, it's cat piss. Okay, I thought that was a joke. It's like walking around New York City. Oh. A bar that stinks from cat piss. That's my start on this bar. Why don't you make her a drink? Sweet tea sour. Yeah, I can do that. Sweet tea sour. Would you like extra cat piss in it? <laughs> Is there something in that bottle? Oh. There's something. Wait, 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 wait. Come back here with that. Oh, oh boy. Already. What could possibly be in a bottle of alcohol? She turned that upside down and there's something floating around in there. There's a cockroach in there. That is That's actually that is actually that to me. Look at it. one of the nastiest things I've ever seen. There's a cockroach. Is it swimming or is it dead? That's I mean, I know they have worms in the little tequila bottle, but like uh yeah, that could that is I mean, that cockroach is drunk as hell. Let me just tell you that much. Unacceptable. So look at all the other... Hold on, I am pausing a lot, but look There's at all the other crap. That's not oh, my God. Just, like, what's that on the left? That's the cockroach's buddy. I think that's one of those, um... Like, little silverfish, actually. That's disgusting. My gosh, Gordon Ramsay would burn this place down. She was going to serve that to me. Bruh. Floating in there. That's crazy. How many other liquor bottles How are does like a cockroach this? get in a bottle? Two. At least two? <laughs> the answer should be no more. How does a cockroach get in there? Oh Did you have a mixing glass? Oh, no. Oh, 
pretty Look at it. Oh my gosh. There's one of them. Look at that, guys. That's a roach. That's disgusting. I'm out of here. I don't want to touch anything else or see anything else. That is place. pretty nasty, Jesus. You can't have that much filth and that many bugs in a place unless you just don't care. How often do you see a roach? Every day. A few every, every day? Every day. Probably. Where do you see them? Do they walk across the bar? Yep. Yeah. Oh. We had them in our cash registers. I mean, it's like not their fault. They're like the, the bartenders. Their job is not to... Make sure this place is up to code. That's the owner, but still, my goodness. With our money, when people ask about headhunters, they're like, "Oh, that bar that smells real bad." Oh, jeez, I would not and be. What working does our there. owner say about this stuff? Nothing. I'd like to meet this guy. Where the hell is he? This dude's gonna be—he's gonna come in covered in roaches. What's up, man? I'm Roach Man. How are you? Hi, are you? Oh, wow. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Let's walk over here and talk for a minute. Sure. Let's go. We're in the, the green leather jacket. My wife orders a drink. The bottle's filled with a cockroach and bugs. Wow. The other liquor bottle. Like, yeah, well, that's because uh, you ordered the uh, <laughs> the cock martini. Those are filled with bugs. The staff told me that they see cockroaches every day here. Been here no, for a day. Cockroaches in bottles. Well, let's uh, go ask them. Chloe. Yes. How often do you see cockroaches? It's like William here? H Macy. Uh, about every day. About yeah. every day. <laughs> every so day. your staff is pulling your liquor bottles. They're telling me there's roaches here every day. You don't see it. You don't know it. Chloe, why don't you tell me uh, about this? When why why are you telling you, him that, but not me? I've told you that we have a problem. You own which this is place. You're supposed to know these things. Exactly. There are no bugs in the bottle. <laughs> this, dude, <laughs> this dude's got that Elvis hair going. John is about to rip that man's hair off of his head immediately. Do you know this is happening or not? Yes or no? Do you know it? Do I know what? That there's bugs all over your bar. There's bugs all over Austin. <laughs> You're at the bug bar. What do you mean? There's bugs all over America. <laughs> this is a college town. America. They don't want clean. It's not the culture. <laughs> <laughs> this is a college town. They don't want clean. College kids want bugs in their drinks. That is what they want. Austin doesn't like that. Is it a sterile, clean room? And they want Sam and Colby like voodoo baby dolls on the bar. From environment? No, it's not. We're not in that business. You came down here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I would bring up that footage immediately. Bar. But I, I can't fix that. a bar when I'm pouring cockroaches out of glasses, man. I'm Come on. Ooh. Uh -oh. I'm impressed. With all the experience and knowledge you have in the world. Okay, that was, that was funny. John throws a, a bottle of beer, and then this dude just pours water <laughs> for no reason. I'm impressed. With all the experience and knowledge you have in the world, you got all the way here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I'm astonished. This really? has to be a bit. There's no way this wasn't produced. Because how it, this dude just admitted that there's bugs all over the place. It says creep right behind his ear in the background. This is foreshadowing. Steve can't admit to anything. I tell him there's bugs in his drink. He says there's no bugs in the drink. This guy is filled with excuses and holds himself unaccountable for everything. That's going to change. I know when I see it. I've been in they are there. Either you knew it and you didn't give it. Are you going to lower your voice and talk you like a man? It. No, because you're frustrating the hell out of me. I'm and when I talk to idiots, I get loud. I'm you a, live I'm amongst shocked. the mess. Shocked. Shocked. shocked at your professionalism. You know what a professional man. is? Yeah. A professional is you don't serve bugs to your customers. <laughs> Maybe you're the biggest bug. <laughs> Maybe you're the biggest bug is such a random insult. One time, this is when I was like seven years old, I looked into a straw that I was about to drink in a soda can because I had a feeling. I never used to look in straws. I looked in a straw, there was a worm in it. I was about to drink a worm. And to this day, Anytime I get a straw, I look in it. I just like peer in it just to make sure that there's no worm. Because I'm a fan of, of, of Coke and Pepsi, but I'm not a fan of worm Pepsi. That's not my thing. Let's show what happens when a moron defends failure. This is what happens. Oh, my God. oh I hope there's a cockroach. About 30 cockroaches in there. That, that's not that definitely 30? Look at Oh. That. <laughs> oh my god. Bruh. Oh no. Oh no. Yo, that's actually that's actually crazy. 30 How the Wait, how do so many bugs get in there? Seeing that many cockroaches was disgusting. 30? Look at this, guys. Those are bugs. 
imagine the person taking a sip? They have their beer and they're like, "Oh, those are cocktails." Now he's laughing. He had people standing in the crowd looking at him with utter disgust, and he was still sitting there, smiling and laughing, thinking it was a joke and that it was funny. It's Eric not a Bischoff, joke. This is him. the livelihood of a good ten to fifteen people. You need to get angry at this. You need to be embarrassed about he this. He kind of likes Take it. Take accountability. John Taffer flew off the handle about bugs, so we created a drink after him called the Bug Bomb. Oh, my God. This guy should... Honestly, jokes aside, the bar should be shut down. If I find a roach in a bottle, I'm not a Karen. I'm the opposite. I'm very... Ch I will... You have to say something. That could... That, I mean, what the... Oh. I am going to get on the phone, and I am going to fumigate this building tonight. Let's go. You didn't have the balls to do it. I'm going to. You didn't write the you check. Fumigate I'm going to. I, as well. your employees, Joe, and you, Jesse, are not walking back in this building until we can do so safely. And you, my friend, are an You, my friend, can bug off. <laughs> That's a crazy way to start. Bugs Bunny. Looks mean again. Hey, guys. Only three days from now, guys, I have to open a new bar that you would be proud of, like the concept, and set us up to move forward. When there's bugs in my drink, I stop thinking about everything else. That's insane. So I it <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that's The Ghostbusters. A professional yesterday. I your want you your to bar is dirty when that team has to come. And angry at this as I am. Look at this, guys. What do we got this here? This is during the exterminator's sprays last night. Just watch it. Oh, spray. Oh, my God. They're leaving their apartments. Here's what he wrote, that the conditions noted are a health hazard. Holy crap. And a public danger to a substantial fecal. Okay, that is literally like a hundred roaches in one spot. They were just chilling in their crib. matter, egg casings and mutilated roach carcasses. That was a load of them. No wonder I'm always sick. There's Looney. I have cockroaches walking across our customers. You are all screwed. If you see one or two cockroaches at a bar, you, you see hundreds. You don't see hundreds that are living below. You can bet there are thousands more. When there's a roach infestation, they emit a strong musk, which yeah. draws more roaches, forming massive colonies like the ones at Headhunters well, inside that. the bar, under the stage, and behind the bamboo wall. Cockroaches don't just seem filthy. They are filthy. And They're covered head to toe in shit carry up to 30 different diseases, including salmonella and dysentery, which they can spread to glassware and countertops, leaving no visible signs of bacteria. With a roach-infested bar, even the glasses that seem clean are heavily contaminated. God, this makes me want to just, I'm just going to spray my hands right now with, uh, sanitizer. Jeez, this is a germaphobe's nightmare. You know what I hate when you go to a restaurant? And I know sometimes it's not their fault, but, like, you ever see, like, glass and it just look it might be water stains but it just looks stained or you see like a fork or a knife and it just has those marks on it and you're like okay this is probably just water marks maybe it wasn't dried well but then i'm like what if it's more that's like this entire bar in a nutshell i still don't think this dude cares this infestation according to the professionals came from at least Four and a half years of complete neglect. This is Austin. Every bar I go to has roaches. We have uh, staff that needs to do their job. They need to. <laughs> Steve don't care. He's blaming the staff. He's like, they need to exterminate. They need to make a cocktail and make a cockroach. Clean wells. It's in the job description. So now we know the source. I took it seriously. It's got to be a paid actor. You blew it off. Did the best I could on our resources. It's not like I didn't do anything. So more and more cleaning the bar since it's been open this is your fault this is your neglect now you guys were exposed to 30 different types of bacteria you brought feces home to your apartment oh, no. you slept in your bed with them that, man, that makes it so worse you are sleeping in shit how dare you risk your employees risk your customers i am gonna fix this and if i have to run over you to do it understand steve i am gonna do it you can hit him in a car i'm gonna get your starting point that's clean safe and it starts right now good job john legend that is a crazy way to start irish eyes aren't smiling good old packies season four episode 10. how can anything be worse than that? Uh 
Uh oh, here he is, the ball. See how everything calmed down now? Like, now we're all scared of this bollocks. <laughs> I want to run. <laughs> I want to run, mate. Everyone's chugging beer. That does that. I mean, that's. So. Nice. Here's Johnny. Mr. Johnny. Mr. Taffer. How you doing, John? How's it going? John, please. I'd like you to meet two dear friends of mine. Oh, Jesus, really? Jerry? Jerry, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Gavin? Gavin, how's it going, John? Gavin. Talk about what your experience I'm was here. Morning, the buddies. There was flies in the drink. But the number one thing for okay. me. Flies in the drink, small upgrade over cockroaches in the drink. Let's say that. Is the chicken. Uh oh. Overcooked, dry. Okay. There's something Irish about it. I said it as soon as I walked in. There's something Irish about this bar. It yeah. looks like it's an American opened an Irish bar. What bottles have fruit flies in them? Show them to me. Probably every one of them. You put them back Careful. there with the flies in them, didn't you? Yeah. So you serve the drink to a guest, and he puts it back down. Look at the, look at the carrot in the background with the carrot boss haircut. She is, at, she is as we speak, writing a, a zero-star Yelp review. Actually, everyone might be a Karen in the background, the way that they're looking. And there's one Darren, there's one dude. There and serves it to the next guest. He's pissing on your business, isn't he? Yeah. He's Pulls got flies in your belly. Behind the bar. That's you. Jerry, I want you to go behind the bar, take every bottle with bugs in it, and put it on top of the bar. Let's line this them all up. This makes me never, ever. I don't go to bars anyway. This may, unless I'm just, I'm just going to get a beer where the lid's on it. Cap. This makes me never want to get a drink at a bar ever again because I'm just going to think that there's either bugs, flies, maybe a small hamster, I don't know, something in my drink. There's fruit flies in the drinks. They're serving it that way, and they don't even care. I want to use tonight as an example of what is so wrong with this bar and every person in it. This dude's so scared. I don't even want to know. This dude keeps wincing. So how many got up there now? Nine so far. Nine so far, and he's just starting. Check that one out. Look at the bugs in this bottle. Oh, oh my uh, God. I thought they were being dramatic. I thought they were saying, like, there was a bug at the top of the lid. There are, like, uh, quite literally 15 bugs floating around. That lady is so horrified. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Not gonna lie, though. There's a... I mean, I don't blame these reactions. That's... This is the nasty. future of your family. Do you understand that? Yeah, John, I do. Oh my God. That's disgusting. That's gross. How do you not Pretty know that? Pretty much every drink you order tonight has flies in it. So, you already blew <laughs> this money! Every drink you ordered has flies in it. I'm just burning it Damn. a second time! Damn! Because you already did! Damn! Oh, I thought you were throwing that shit on the ground. I need it, John. It was Logan Paul. Remember Logan Paul used to throw plates on the ground? What a weird guy. All right, well, you got everything right here. Can John come and help do this? John, 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 John. Damn. Can you bring in one of the tacos for me, please? Like one set of tacos. Bring in a tacos. Oh, I thought they were John Taffer. I was like, oh, ooh. Bring it back. Dump it. Dump it. What's wrong with it? it tastes like nothing but juice. Oh, great. Tastes like flies. I'm making those table drinks right now. Garbage, Callie. Come on, you gotta make them right. Well, there's no point. Let's go. Come on, I can do this. Seven, six, and nine. Transactions. There we go. We're collecting money. Callie, you're smiling. Brian. Both need the drinks. I can do two at a time. Bar is popping. Why is everyone clapping? Let's go, guys. Hustle, hustle, hustle. These tickets are going to just keep firing. I need a Oh, minute. it's okay. There's a little Ratatouille action right there. There's a little Remy. I mean, I don't blame him. Look, that looks like a little piece of cheese. Maybe some celery right there. That's, go. yep. I got two orders right here. Knock it out. Oh, there's his friend. There might be one in the background, too. The whole rat family is here. Got the oysters. Get the other shucker, and you guys do it together. This is teamwork right now, guys. Make shucker. it look perfect if you want other people shucker. coming back. What the f***? I got f rats. <laughs> I got rats. Oh, boy. Here we go. Running under my feet right now. John, rats. I just had three of them go right under my feet. Three rats. So they're under here now? John's gonna come in with a shotgun and start shooting these rats. Do you understand what corporate yeah. responsibility yeah. is? Yes. Yeah. Do you understand yeah. what it is to own a freaking business yeah. and you're feeding people? 
Yeah. Can't do this. Ugh. Oh my God. What do you say, Nick? Damn, there's the whole the whole family's rats. down there. In a tropical location like Florida, rats are a fact. They live in walls. They live in foundations. You have to use a professional exterminating program, or they'll take over your bar. Guys, I can't honestly sell food when you're watching a rat run by, Logan. You're very right. Shut the equipment off. Tonight was not a success. We were almost caught up when the rat went between Chef and Logan and it got shut down. So how much are you losing a month now? Four thousand dollars a month, easy. <laughs> these titles are ridiculous. Corking the bunghole. What the heck are these names of these episodes? You feeling the pressure? I feel the pressure every day. I want to bring my experts in, and they're gonna help me turn this place around. I'm bring my ex in. Guys, my name is John Taffer. I have turned around over 800 bars. Is this a good friend of mine and one of the best mixologists in the world, Peter O'Connor? Peter is the master of whiskey for Diageo. So what I wanted to do now, Peter, is let's see what we got to work okay, with. Okay, no problem. How often do you clean the bar, guys? Oh, here uh, we go. I just want to show you this. There's a bunch of fucking dog shit in your bar, mate. <laughs> so you can see properly. Soda gun is clean, but how often do you clean this? Oh. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, what the hell? That's just... That's just bloody shit. <laughs> it's like a vine back in the day. It's like, Which one of you left a shit in the toilet? Disgusting! Whatever that is, is pretty nasty. How often do you clean that? What is that? That's sugar syrup. So there's flies in there, there's bacteria in there. That's, that's how the an E. coli connect. colony. And the soda gun is sitting in this. Oh, that's pretty gross. Like see, see? Dude, this... I sh Maybe I shouldn't have watched this. I don't drink soda anymore. I have got it. I've gotten it out of my life. I'm two months, <laughs> the two months sober. I feel like that's silly to say sober. I'm sober from soda. I'm two months clean. <laughs> what do you? I haven't drank soda in two months, but I was addicted to it. This makes me so happy that I'm not drinking it from a bar because I don't want E. coli. That is just disgusting. You guys said you clean every day. I can't explain it. Laziness. Laziness on it's the employees. Laziness. That's laziness. all it is. Guys, admitting it, though. I really mm -hmm. want to show you this hair. Uh -oh. What is that on the glass? Oh, no. That's a roach. It? Well, not again. Oh, it's a little baby roach right there. There's another one inside, John. Oh, that's disgusting. Look at this. Ah. Look at these roaches. Oh my God. Inside your beer cooler. <laughs> Did you know that there were roaches here, Jameson? We found out a bunch of them were living under their printer machines. <laughs> you should just say no, bro. Yeah, there's a whole family, there's a whole colony under that burner. Back there. Let's go check the kitchen. Okay. Oh, I don't want to see it. Hey, Nick. John, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to dump this on top here. Oh, my. Got bugs there. <laughs> and not only. That is not pepper. That. This says seasoned flour breader. And I open that up. And I'm seeing that in there. Oh, my gosh. There's roaches okay, in the flour. That oh, that's actually like a real problem. That's disgusting. You know, guys, I'm trying to stay calm here, but when I see this, with a side of bugs. cockroaches in your flour. If there's roaches in here, there's roaches in a whole kitchen. It could be anywhere. I am going to get on the phone, and I am going to fumigate this building tonight. Love it. I love it. Every time. I love the fumigation. Roaches. Then Nick and I will come back and go to work. Uh, uh, we are back here all night. I've had my ass chewed by professional ass chewers, and John uh. Taffer can't break me. Hey, this man's butt's been chewed, huh? Good morning. I had an exterminator come in here. He let's, found let's roughly 14 colonies of German cockroaches. They carry literally hundreds of disease yeah. because you're irresponsible. <laughs> I want to talk. They came all the way from Germany to mess with that bar. Here for a moment about respect as a manager. Res Don't mess with Taffer's wife. Respect as a manager is something that's earned. It's earned by holding your employees accountable. You fight for standards when you make them perform better every day. That's why you can't be behind the bar all the time. You've got to be managing this. Right. I don't do this on my own. So I have two great experts that I want to bring in. So here is Jen Jay and Anthony Curtis. Hi, guys. So let's start with a little walkthrough. What do you see, Jen? Just talk to me here. The big thing that's just screaming to me I'm ready to see roaches. Let's go. Plastic cups reminds me of the frat party, something like that. I see just disgusting bar rot. Oh, that's nasty. Layers of dirt. Filth. I can't really tell exactly what it is. There's hey, this is way less bad than the others. Splatters. 
Okay, I mean, that could be ketchup. So that's disgusting. What's that? I think uh, it's still alive. Uh, it's still alive. Give me the other cup. You can't be serious. What the hell is it? Show that to them. It's a crocodile. So this should not be. This will definitely be a cockroach. This is the cockroach episode. Behind a bar, guys. This is just disgusting. Yeah, well, that is that is the or is that a cricket? That is that is the boss cockroach. Oh, my gosh. Look at the leg on that thing. That thing could play water polo. Look at that. Wow. That is a terrifying looking roach. That looks like a, a sea cricket. It's alive, guys. Should not be happening. Oh, it's still Obviously, moving. Obviously, if a customer sees this guy, it's a nightmare. Do you see them often? Bigger ones like that, yeah. <laughs> Bigger ones. of that? No. But you walk by it every day, Lise, and you didn't do anything about it. That's half a dozen diseases sitting at the bottom of a plastic cup. There we go. Lisa's coming to the realization that she's not as good as she thinks she is. Is it together? Are you going to do cash? Yeah, we'll do cash, please. Thank yeah. you. Game over. Season eight. See any smiles, any interaction? Yeah, well, she looks like she's at a funeral, doesn't she? She looks miserable. Yeah, yeah. Is that? I'll see that the, um, the title has a spider in it. Maybe there's no roach emoji. I don't know if there's a roach emoji. I'm hoping not to see spiders because I am terrified of spiders. I'm just going to be honest. I am arachnophobic. Um, not that I'm not a guy. It's like, I don't like roaches, but it's like, I have less fear of roaches, you know, spiders. I'll tell you what. I am just terrified of spiders. Not gonna lie. Funk in the soda gun. One day I was in uh, my, my roommate JC's Jeep and I went to put my hand up on the, cause he, he drives like he's in the Daytona 500 NASCAR. And I went to put my hand up on like, you know, the little uh, handle that's above there so you can hold on so you don't fly out the damn Jeep cause there's sometimes he takes the doors off. Right before I did, I looked up, and there was a freaking black widow. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, I'm getting out of the car. And I made him pull over. And I was like, there is a legitimately deadly spider in the handle of your Jeep. I'm not getting back in. I forget how he got, how we got it out, but we did. Thing was like this big. I was on the ride back. I, I was. I was looking. My spidey senses were tingling. Literally, I was looking everywhere. Uh, I did a John Taffer search of the entire vehicle. It was a really triggering experience for me. It sure is. Ooh, GTL. Hold on. Wait a second. That's funk in the soda gun. Little Jersey Shore reference right there. Let's go. GTL, baby. It sure is. No, that was bad. That was, that was bad. real bad. Oh, I love that soda. Yeah, yeah. When she opened the ice well to get ice, I could have sworn I saw just a, a, a blackness, and I hope it's not mold. Oh, oh man. no, moldy ice. Oh no. And if that's mold, then we can't let our bar our bartenders have the cocktail. Yeah, really when she was scooping ice to put into her well. Yeah. That's where I saw it. So I'm okay. going in, guys. Uh -oh. Cheers uh -oh. to moldy uh -oh. ice drinks. Yeah. Put put that drink down. Here's the boss. Robbie. Hi, John. John Taffer. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Oh, I nice love that. All the back. owner all the owners are Irish. With me for more. Sure, sure. First of Scottish. all, I don't want you guys to drink that. I knew it. I knew he was going to tell him not to. And it's so funny because I know they had one sip. They put that shit back down. Come with me, Rob. <laughs> you know, when I hear your story and I hear how you love the community, mm -hmm. right, and how much this town means to you. Do you love and, and then I see things like filth that is unbelievable that if you guys drink this, you will get sick. You know what this is? See those little chunks? Feces. Oh no! <laughs> Look at Deborah, man. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 
She just she just literally had a fucking soda. Oh man, poor Deborah. Poor Deborah, that's just terrible. You know what you just had for lunch? You had a BLT and you had a side of feces. From cockroaches and fruit flies. Oh. So come with me, Ron. Look at that. The, the bartender is getting out of the way like there's a bomb in there. This is mold in this ice machine. Ooh, that is very bad. This will get every single one of you sick. That poor woman that keeps showing her. Now, you girls are bartenders. Would you work here knowing that? Absolutely not. So that's the filth just here. I mean, look at this freaking place. I mean... It's unbelievable. There's just junk everywhere. And I haven't even gone in a kitchen yet. So this is a guy who loves the community. And loves getting the community deathly sick. <laughs> but serves you back. <laughs> she just did a Michael Scott. Like, look right there. Cheerio. This is a guy who cares about his employees, right? But let you work in disgusting filth. That is unbelievable. So do you care about this community? Or do you hate them? Or are you full of shit? Because somebody who cares doesn't do this. Roast now I gotta it. ask you the question, what stinks in this place? All right, last one. I thought they said I smell a fart. I smell a rat. Because it isn't tobacco. A couple of days ago, we found a rat. Uh, we put down rat poison and ate the rat poison. And we're guessing it died. Well, we said no they ate the we rat have poison. no idea where it's at. You smell it? Because I do. There is a stench. He can smell in rats. This bar that smells like He's death. A superhero. It's awful. And as I walk to the back, it gets worse and worse and worse. You smell it? While you're smoking hookah. I wouldn't put that in your mouth if I were you. That's what she said. We don't know if it's in the wall or in the air. Duct. Is he about to find the rat? Is he like legitimately like a, a rat detector? Oh my God, he did find it. Okay, I don't want to pause. How on that. long did it? How did he know, dude? That's dude's got like a nose of a like a basset hound. <laughs> Take me to find it. A couple minutes. How long have you been looking for it? About two or three days. And you didn't even move a freaking couch. Oh man. Smell it over here. That's your freaking future, right there, man. I see it. And you're the manager of this see it. place. Get a rag and pick this thing up now. Nasty. Gotcha. This one. Killing us. Uh, okay, that's disgusting. I'm gonna fast forward that. Guys, please get out of here. Give them <laughs> their money back now. I'm out of here, man. They're smoking rats. Jesse's attitude stinks. He's acting like a college kid who doesn't care. It's infuriating. Unbelievable, man. I love how mad what John gets. <laughs> I love this. I, I hope you guys don't uh, enjoy. I hope you enjoy. Thank, thank, thank. I hope you guys want more of this because I'll tell you what, I forgot about this. These compilations are very funny and very entertaining. Uh, just let me know if you want more. Give it a like, you know. The more likes, the better. It makes me actually feel like uh, I should keep making these. Comment something about wanting more if you want more. It's not a, not a forced thing. Don't do it unless you feel like it. But uh, maybe I can add some bar rescue to the rotation. Um, that was ridiculous. So what have we learned? Uh, just don't go to bars. Don't order anything unless you are a fan of bugs in your drink. And if you are, go to the bar. You'll get a plethora of bugs. All right, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Be back really shortly here on Ryan's Average Reactions. Also, as uh, as I normally do, I'll plug my Twitch um, right down in the description. I'm doing 12 hours of Dance Moms this Friday. And you might be watching this later, so it doesn't matter. But this Friday being, what would that be? Let me make sure I know the date. The 16th? The 16th of February, 2024, for those of you in the future watching this in years. It's too late. Uh, come on by. Hang out with me. I'm also doing a merch drop that day. Selling a blue crew neck that I think you might like. So follow me on Twitch. And then also, if you like long-form gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It is... Ryan's Average Games. 
And uh, that'll also be in the description. I uh, play some Sims, play Animal Crossing. I'm about to start Stardew Valley. So if you like long-form content, get you through the day or night, um, kind of chill games, go ahead and subscribe to that if you would be so nice and kind and do so. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Thanks for watching.